Hey everybody, welcome to our first annual camp special Christmas extravaganza. We missed you guys here at camp, so we just wanted a chance to pop in, say hey, and get to celebrate the holidays with you. We have some fun stuff in store, including one of my favorite parts of Christmas. What is that, Sean? Presents. Sean, I love presents. Thank you so much. No, you didn't no, 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 no. Not for you guys, for the campers. Which ones? Well, it's funny you ask that. I figured we could pull them from this envelope and decide who gets a gift. That's a good idea. Katie, what would they win? Today's winners get a gift card to the camp store for $50. Well, let's find out who won. And it is Olivia Freeman and Henry Cannemeyer. Oh, God. Congratulations, Olivia and Henry. We'll be getting your store credit to you real soon. And don't worry, if you didn't win a present now, there's still going to be a chance to later on. Yeah, but for now, let's focus on Christmas. And I think the best way to celebrate Christmas is with a Christmas story. And I think I know just the guy. Who? Short Stories with Ron Springs. Once a reindeer had no friends because he looked different. But Santa thought his big red nose was cool, so he let him fly in front of all his reindeer friends. That way, they wouldn't crash Santa's whip. Then all the other reindeer were like, I guess you're okay. Then he went down in history, like George Washington, and saved Christmas. This has been Short Stories with Ron Springs. umbrella filled with confetti that Phil Berry pulled out of a stocking? What could be better than that? Beats me, but I heard that the ranch, our property interns, had something that they wanted to share with us. Hey guys, the, the ranch. ranch. Duh. Hey guys, we're at the girls barn. Remember all that sand that was in there? Well, it's not there no more. Rocks. There's a bunch of gravel in there right now, and pretty soon there's gonna be a lot of cement. Activity. And it's gonna be a new cool space for village activities coming 2022. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, see you guys. Bye, Ranch. Man, that sounds great. I can't wait for summer 2022. Man, I wonder what's happening at the boys' camp. I wonder what's happening at boys' camp. Me too. Hey, guys. The, the Ranch. Grass. Hey, guys, we're at boys' camp. We took out the old fence and planted a bunch of new grass. Renovation. And we're going to renovate the old barn for some new activities this summer. Square. And if you remember our old nine square court, we're gonna renovate that too and make it permanent. Nice. That sounds great. I can't wait for this summer. That sounds like a blast, Sean. But now, a word from our sponsor. Some people whittle, and some people carve. What's the difference, you may ask? Well, whittling takes something beautiful and turns it into nothing. But carving, in the hands of a master, takes something that's nothing and turns it into something beautiful. Some things are meant to be whittled, and some things are meant to be carved. A life should be carved. Don't whittle your life away. Carve spoons. Thanks, Woodworking. Man, that looks fun. Honestly, it's a good looking spoon, too. Like, I could use that for my soup. I agree. Yeah. But now it's time for another gift giveaway. And the winners are... Jane Young and Elijah Special! Congrats, guys! You guys have won gift cards to the camp store. But now, let's continue on with our Christmas festivities with some good cookies. Short Stories with Ron Springs. Once a misunderstood eight-year-old slept in the attic and his family forgot he was there. Then he treats some wet bandits to a one-sided prank war and saves Christmas. 
This has been Short Stories with Ron Springs. Hey, folks. and we've been given 10 seconds to tell you all the staff that are coming back. Put the timer on, let's go. two winners and our winners are Addy Cloud and Miles Bucklai. Congratulations you two. You all have won a 50 dollars gift card to the camp store. And congratulations to all of our winners. You know at camp we're all winners but tonight it's really just you six. Short stories with Ron Springs. This has been Short Stories with Ron Springs. Folks. Two thousand years ago, the world changed forever when God became man. The Creator stepped down into His creation. The all-powerful Son of God left His Father's side and came to walk the earth. His birth and body were similar to mine and yours. He had ten fingers and toes, two ears, two eyes, and a beating heart. He learned to crawl, walk, speak. He would learn which foods he liked and which foods he didn't like. He got cold, he grew tired, he played in the street with his friends. He worked up a sweat, he skinned his knee, he got sick, he had ups and downs. Just like us, he had good days and bad days. As he learned to be a carpenter, he probably had blisters on his hands, got a few splinters, and even smashed his thumb. It feels disrespectful or wrong to think about Jesus this way, but really it's important that we do. For 33 years, Jesus walked the earth and felt all the same things we feel. It's important we see him as human because that's exactly what he came to be. Because he became human, we can know he sees and understands us. His word in scripture is not from a distant God, but from someone who walked in our shoes. He stepped down into this world so that he might save us from it. And that's the story and the hope of Christmas. Hey everyone, we've had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks for joining us for camp's Christmas special extravaganza. Camp is really quiet around this time of year and we are so excited to have you guys back. We're really thankful that through Jesus and what he's done for us, we're able to have camp. Yeah, and from all of us here at camp, Merry Christmas. And hey, camp's only 171 days away. Hey folks.